What's up guys? Uh, so this next video is going to be three separate videos put together. <clears throat> when I first started recording this, um, I wanted to go over a triangle setup I like to do from the clothes guard. And the first video I started recording, uh, which is the last one you're going to see, uh, I started thinking to myself, man, maybe before I show this, I should show a progression and do like a beginner's triangle setup. Uh, that way it starts to make more sense uh, with, with this a little bit more advanced setup that we go into. Um, and I'm a big perfectionist. I try to do things uh, as best as I can in the first recording. Uh, but after a couple times recording it, I realized, man, there's just too many details to, to go through and try to get perfect the first time. So I took three separate videos. I put them all together. All of them catch some different important details from the triangle. Um, so I hope you guys uh, find some use out of this video. Hope it's helpful and enjoy. Okay, basic triangle for close guard. I'm going to shove one arm to the chest. Uh, keep this one to my chest. I'll bring one foot on the hip so that I can raise my hips and get my leg past his arm and to get my knee to hook past his head. Once I get my knee past the head, then I can get a nice deep hook grip to really start to hold him in position as he starts moving from here. I'm gonna pass the arm across and the idea is that I wanna get this elbow all the way across my center line so that my stomach can start to hold it in position. So I pass it across, my stomach starts to hold it in position while I go for the shin. From here, I can cut my angle Fish this hand in under the arm or under the leg. I'll go into the arm, cut the angle, lock it up, and then hug everything in tight, squeeze until you get the finish. So we're here, I shove one to the chest, keep this one to me, bring this foot to the hip, bring this other leg over. I wanna get my knee as far deep as I can to get a good hook. If I, don't shoot my knee deep and I keep my hips on the ground and I don't, uh, don't close that space and that distance. It's going to be easier for him to start to frame and then to bring my leg back down into close guard or even to, to start a pass or a scramble. So I start to shove this one in, foot to the hip, bring this uh, leg up, hip high and shoot deep as I can to get a nice hook. Once I get the hook, I want to pass the arm across and I want to get my stomach to block the elbow. Stomach blocks the elbow, grab the shin. From here, once I have the shin and I'm keeping uh, good tension, I'm gonna go underneath the armpit or the leg if they open it up. I'll go underneath the armpit, cut my angle, lock it up, squeeze around every day, big squeeze, so we get the finish. Okay, so we have previously talked about uh, a basic way to get a triangle from the closed guard, which would be to shove one arm to the chest, keep one to us, bring one foot to the hip, and to extend this knee past their ear, right? Um, and in the first video I showed, I, I actually missed something. I didn't explain crossing your ankles as quick as you can, okay? Mostly because when I hit this, so, uh, this type of triangle where I bring my foot to the hip and I go right over, uh, a lot of times they'll try to shrug and start turning, right? And then I start to put priority over getting this elbow over and then locking uh, my legs as quick as I can, right? But in reality, anytime we're going for a triangle, okay, we need to make sure we're over the neck and we maintain behind the arm. So for best practices, okay, when I shove this in, I bring one foot to the hip, I throw this leg over, I wanna lock as quick as I can to minimize the potential of him bringing his elbow back uh, and starting to defend this, okay? But even when I do lock this, okay, this doesn't stop it. A really strong guy, any guy, can start to pull their elbow in and, and posture up and defend this. So as soon as we get this lock, as soon as we get this knee past their ear, that's when I need to put priority over getting this elbow to cross my center line because I can start to use my stomach to block it. And then again, if I need to grip the shin and readjust, hook under the shoulder, and lock it up, then I can finish from here. Okay, some people like to bring their foot to the hip and then start to lunge this leg over and you know get into the triangle position. For me personally, when I start to bring this foot to the hip, okay, it starts to slow it down for me and I almost feel like they start to make their frame and prevent whatever I'm about, prevent the triangle that I'm trying to get into before I can even get into it. So what I like to do is start to get a priority over collapsing this arm in and shooting my leg deep. So I start to shove the uh, wrist in, open and shoot this leg as far as I can and immediately get a nice little hook, okay? But I raise both my legs up and put a priority on this leg shooting back and, and getting my knee past the ear to bend in and catch a nice hook. If 
I don't get past the ear on that, on that lunge. Say I raise my leg up and I don't shoot my hip up enough. If I don't get past the ear, knee past the ear, then it's really easy for them to start to shove this arm back in and just put me back in close guard. So shoving this through, raise this leg high and shoot the knee past the ear, making that the priority. Okay, then getting this arm starts to be a little bit more of a struggle. It buys you some time to get your ankles locked, start to pass the wrist across, and then grip, cut your angle, and finish your triangle.